Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. The time has come when I need to replace my files. Files will not last forever, and if you take good particular care over the files, they will last a long time, but there will come a time when you need to replace it. And today for me is one of those days. So I thought it'd be an ideal opportunity for me to show you exactly how to fasten a file to a file handle. Seems really, really simple. There's one basic technique you just need to know to enable you to fasten the handle safely and securely onto the file. What you should never do is use the file with the tang, that's this part here, exposed. Because that is so, so dangerous. If you're filing away and the tang is in your hand like this and the file happens to get caught or it manages to get lodged in something, that tang could easily go into the palm of your hand and you're gonna be out of action for quite a few weeks whilst that heals up. So it is always important to get a file handle. When you get your file handle, you'll see there is a metal ferrule on the end here, and also there is a central hole. That hole is usually the right size for you, but what you can also do is drill it a little bit more with a normal twist drill in a hand drill. And what you're after is for the tang, which is tapered, like this here, to fit in roughly around about a third or a quarter of the way in as you've got just there. So we need to be able to push the handle down this far onto the tang of the file. There's not much point pushing that onto there and trying to get away with that because really the handle is not securely fastened. You could come along and fasten the, the, the file or fasten the handle and bang the two together. That is one way but the wood is likely to split. So the correct way to do this is to use a little bit of heat, but you should also have a nice heavy uh, vise at your disposal as well. And what we are going to do is we're going to clamp that file into our vise. I've got some copper lining the steel jaws of the vise here to protect whatever I put into the vise. And on the file here, the teeth don't go all the way to the top of the file. There's about 12, 15 millimeters bare steel that we can locate into our vise. And what we're going to do is heat up that tang. This is the tang here. Now, the steel is hardened, but only this area down here is hardened. The tang here is normally left soft because we need to heat this area until it is nice bright red. We're gonna, then we're going to put it into our vices we've got here. The handle will go on top and you'll start to see smoke come billowing up. That is great, that's what you want. Then we've got a nice heavy brass hammer and what we're going to do is hold that central on the tang and start to tap. And every time we tap, the metal then is burning the wood and burning the shape of this tang into the wood. The wood then will not split. The ferrule on the end here will stop the wood from splitting. But as the handle is hammered down onto the tang, it will make its way up inside the handle, the handle will come down to roughly round about the end of the tang that we've got there and it will be nicely securely fastened. As I said, if the hole isn't big enough, by all means please just use a drill. Don't necessarily drill all the way in, drill up for about an inch or so and that'll give you enough clearance then for the tang. Simply got a butane torch that we're going to heat up and what you want to do is Basically, heat up just the area of the tang. Don't, whatever you do, go heating up this part of the file because you will ruin the cut and it'll be completely useless. So we're gonna heat up this area here. When it's glowing red, we're going to bring it, put it into the vise, start to hammer it, and there'll be billows and gushing smoke. But when that dies down, the handle will be nicely secured. So let's work through this. 
I've got my soldering area here. These are simple soldering boards that I have constructed a gorgeous little soldering area. This is ideal, a double layer on the bottom, it protects the surface that I put this on. So there's two ways. You can either put it into your soldering area like this, or put it in the vise already this way, like that. It's entirely up to you, whichever you prefer to do. If you did heat it up in your soldering area, you're going to need to have a pair of tweezers or tongs to pick up that file to put into place, because I'm sure a little bit of heat may travel down for complete safety. But what I am going to do actually is just leave this in the vise and just heat up this area that we've got here. The teeth of the file don't go all the way to the end, so the jaws aren't damaging that at all. Have the file nicely upright. The copper is protecting the file. I've got the handle to hand, I've got my hammer to hand, and I can start hitting that as soon as we've got the right temperature. Let's get this going. Don't worry about the vice taking the heat away. We don't really want the heat traveling down and ruining the teeth, taking the temper, the hardness out of those teeth. So the vice is actually doing us a favor by stopping the heat traveling. It's acting as a heat sink. So you can see we've got a nice red color coming on the end of the tang. Make sure that goes Three quarters of the way down, you can see the color temperature there. Okay, here we go. Do this in a well ventilated area. You can see, there we go, we've got a lot of smoke. Hammer, hammer, hammer this down. And the file handle has gone all the way down. As I said, do, it, <coughs> do this in a well-ventilated area, not in a confined studio like we've got here. The file will not be hot because these jaws have taken away some of the heat. And you can see how we've got a nice, gorgeous fit on our file. It's gone right down to the end. The handle is nice and central. A little bit of wood resin coming down. That'll just wipe off. And that is the correct way to attach a file handle onto a file. Lovely and safe. The handle is not going to be able to become loose, nicely, firmly attached. My name is Andrew Berry for At The Bench's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.